Mayor Joe Matthews, City of Marietta. Come next January, I'll be 80 years old, and I've been here all my life, and I've had chances to leave and different jobs I've had prior, and I could go out of town and work somewhere else, but I chose not to do so, and I think Marietta is a fantastic city to raise kids in, to raise grandkids. My name is Luke Feeney, and I am the mayor of the city of Chillicothe. We are in the foothills of Appalachia. We are proud of our history when it comes to Ohio. First and third capital is a big deal. Our history when it comes to the center of the Hopewell culture. So it's a, it's a community that's very proud, uh, both of our history and what we're doing today. My name is Connie Pelletier. I am the mayor of Wellston and I am the first female elected mayor in Wellston. I've been mayor seven years. I'm in my second term. This was not, I never dreamed I would be in this office ever, but it, there was a need and I was asked to fill it and I felt led to fill it. So that's how I got here. I'm not your typical politician. <laughs> I was the auditor for the city of Chillicothe um, and actually heard about the mayor's partnership before I was mayor. Once I became mayor, I got the invitation to join um, and sort of ventured over to Athens uh, for my first meeting and uh, since that time have really enjoyed working with the group and attending the meetings and learning what there is to know about uh, our, our field. It was actually 22 years ago, myself and a gentleman named McGlidden, who was president of the I University, and Joe Salser, who was the mayor of Chillicothe, and Tom Evans, who was mayor of Jackson, Ohio. Uh, we decided to get together and talk about it because we needed something that was a regional for all of us to go to, and this started. And I think originally there was 13 counties in it. Now there's 15 counties in it. And it extends in all of southern Ohio, from Marietta to Portsmouth to Chillicothe and back to Marietta. 22 years ago. There's the plaque right up on the wall. I think that once you get into government, uh, one of the things that I was surprised about is that um, you're sort of on your own. There's no like three-day crash course that you take in Columbus the day after you're elected or anything like that. And so the mayor's partnership provides two really neat things. One is uh, each meeting we have sort of a substantive topic that we talk about and we work through sort of go through roundtable issues and present our own problems or solutions or just things that are happening in our communities. And then I think the networking is the other thing that's really a big takeaway, being able to call uh, one of my peers in Southern Ohio and say, I have a problem. Have you ever had this problem? When I first started, like I told you, I didn't know anything. And if I needed help or advice or even a piece of equipment, we had nothing here. I'd call Randy and he would say, sure, come get it. And since then, I've been able to return that favor. Well, I think it's wonderful when we can sit down and talk about the ideas and hear of gripes from other cities and what they're doing, what they're not doing, and how we can help each other. We all have the same common problems. A lot of times, big or small, the communities, the, the issues that we're addressing are the same. Knowing that we're not alone, uh, you know, in, especially in a rural part of the state, just being able to pick up the phone and know that there's somebody out there who has a, a job that's similar to yours um, and that you can sort of rely on. The MPP has helped me personally to gain knowledge and especially contacts with the state uh, with other mayors, and I've taken councilmen with me, I've taken guests with me, my fire department. Um, I want them to experience that too in case they would have questions, you know, that I would not think of. So, yeah, they've been a, they've been a very good influence. I think the Voinovich School does a fantastic job for the Mayor's Partnership for Progress. The Voinovich School is such a good resource for us and will be uh, to help sort of pull us together and raise our levels of expertise, which in turn will let, raise our level of service to our communities. And you know, whether you're the smallest village in southeastern Ohio or the biggest city, we all sign up because we care about our communities and want to make them better. And the expertise that we can get from the Voinovich School to really elevate that level of service, I think is what it's all about. The Voinovich School has 
provided us the means, the place. Without the Voinovich School, I don't think there would be a mayor's partnership. And I, you know, I really am appreciative of that, all that they have done to not only establish it, to make sure that it keeps going.